Oh, it's a great day to be alive. I know the sun's still shining when I close my eyes. There was hard times in a Husker nation, but Nebraska's football's back just like we knew it should. And right, now that you know why I never went into singing, welcome to the Character Chronicles. The People Show, or Check the Pulse of Rescue Nation, brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't heard by now, shame on you, but Nebraska football is back the weekend of October 23rd and 24th. And ladies and gentlemen, unlike normal for my gut reactions, I actually <laughs> took some notes today. So here we go. Now, first and foremost, there's going to be daily rapid testing. All right. And if anybody does test positive in the Big Ten Conference, there will be a 21-day suspension of play for any for that player who does test positive. So they're still making safety very, very important. All right. And other sports in the Big Ten are soon to follow. It's not just all about football, ladies and gentlemen. I respect all sports, and they're supposed to resume play shortly here as well. And hopefully that announcement will come shortly as well. Now, let's just be honest. In this day and age, it can be hard to voice your opinion. Especially if you're going against the grain, if you're going against popular opinion, especially if you dare to go online, ladies and gentlemen, it's kind of an attack pack mentality. But Nebraska, Scott Frost, Husker Nation had the balls, the Spanish eggs, ladies and gentlemen, the huevos to stand up and say what they wanted and what they believed in, which is that we just simply wanted a chance to at least try to play football this year. And the national pundits, the national media, they had fun taking their easy little pot shots at us, that's for sure. But here's the deal, all right? And I'm gonna quote Grant Gaither. Now, if you know who Grant Gaither is, if you ever watch the interviews that I do on this show, he's the one who does those lengthy transcripts. So shout out and big time thank you to Grant Gaither. But here's what he texted me. All right, here's what he texted me. He said, fans and followers across the Big Ten are recognizing what Nebraska has done for the conference. I'm telling you, this is one of those Nebraska moments you'll be telling your grandkids about someday. Grant, first of all, shout out and thank you for doing the transcripts. And second of all, I agree with you, my man. Now, there are others who joined in this fight as well. It wasn't just about Nebraska, Ohio State, and Iowa to a degree. All right, are we like friends now? Now that football's back, can we, can we just go back to hating each other? My arm's getting tired from holding this. That's all right, though. Can we just go back to hating each other, at least in a football sense? I'm just messing with you, kind of. Now, Husker football is back. As we know, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend of October 23rd and 24th. Now, dude, I get excited about Husker football. I'm probably not what you would call a boring guy. But if you remember the day Scott Frost got hired, okay? I, I showed a video of my kids dancing in the living room a couple, three years ago is when this happened. It's probably the most excited I've been about Husker football and something happening since that day. Now, most of my kids are at school. The young ones are still here at home, uh, but that's why they're not dancing and you get me singing very, very badly. Now, we actually have Husker football to look forward to and to start talking about. Scott Frost and the Huskers have been allowed to practice, at least to a degree, in case football returned. He said it would take them about three weeks to get Nebraska ready to play. So they've got their time. They've got a start date. Now, as far as the schedule, oh, be looking out for some more Character Chronicle shows here in the future, talking about football, talking about what we have to look forward to. Man, I'm excited. Keep an eye out for those shows. But as far as an actual schedule, we don't know exactly what it's going to look like yet. But what I have been told is that it will be a nine-game schedule. Eight game regular season schedule, and then they stole my idea. We'll come back to this another day in another show because it's not the priority. But on Big Ten Championship weekend, every football team's gonna come, gonna play. What a concept! Don't let people sit at home and eat, start eating their mama's Christmas cookies early. It's gonna be one versus one from each division, the East and the West playing for the Big Ten title. Then it's gonna be two versus two, three versus three, four versus four. Man, what a great idea! Who came up with this? But anyways, it's not what this show is about. So that's how the ninth game will look for every team in the Big Ten Conference. I'm just, I'm happy they were at least getting a chance. Some people are like, oh, they, they gave in to pressure. And no, they did what's right. Oh, they're set up to fail. Well, at least we tried no matter what happens. All right, so the nine-game Big Ten Conference schedule will conclude on December 19th. The final CFP rankings will be announced December 20th. All right, I'm pretty pumped. Check out my socks and sandals. My wife hates that. Go Big Red. <laughs> Let me know your excitement your thoughts. And always remember to throw the bug. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.